it's been brutal and relentless and unforgiving. You know, when you say it's been brutal and forgiving, I think we need to unpack that a little yeah. bit about what has been brutal. Well, uh, the aftermath has been something that I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, the death threats and the rape threats towards not only myself but my daughter and the threats of death to my son. By, by, by what? By Strictly fans or...? And Giovanni fans and um, yeah it's just been you know when you get like one or two of those you can kind of go oh god you know but I was getting like dozens a day on social like dozens of people just saying just go and kill yourself I hope you die of cancer I hope you know just kill yourself your kids will be better off without you as a mother I hope your daughter gets raped I hope your son gets stabbed uh, you don't deserve any good things for what you've done. How could you destroy something like Strictly? You're, you know, you're a snowflake, you're an idiot, you're stupid. Poor Giovanni. Uh, and uh, it was just all the time. Allowing people to be able to go and complain, that's the other thing. You know, being able to go, not even complain, to voice your concerns if you feel like you're being bullied or you feel like this thing, this situation that you're in feels toxic and unsafe having the courage to go and say something is so important and we are not cultivating that environment we are making out that women who complain not complain women who voice their concerns about a situation are trolls through the press sent death threats rape threats, and not taken seriously now what often by women yeah what i experienced in that room happened I know it happened because it happened to me and I'm not a, I am not a, a sensational person I don't I'm not hysterical I don't make things out to be bigger than they are I know what happened to me in that room wasn't acceptable I complained about it and sort of have not been taken seriously not only me three other women and more potentially coming forward we have to cultivate a society and an environment where women can come forward and say yeah or men because it happens to men as well this is, I'm, fi I'm finding this uncomfortable can you do something about it and then something be done about it that's all and I, and I think you know we need to be brave and I want to stand up for any woman any woman who feels that they don't have a voice I yeah. will be there for her championing her and saying yeah I've got you mm -hmm.